We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. What's up, my dudes? This is DAKE222 Gaming, and you can call me Dak Blake. So, um, today we have a story, which is really nice, because it's, uh, it's kind of lengthy, but it has a long backstory, and it is, my teacher thought I was cheating, so it's like, how my teacher thought I was cheating. I don't know what I'm going to title it, but something about that. It's, uh, basically, uh, there's, there's a lot of build-up to the story. So basically, freshman year of school, high school, I had this teacher. She was an Algebra 2 teacher, it was an honors class, and uh, basically she was a, an Asian teacher, so I'm not going to try to be racist here, as an Asian teacher, but she hated um, white people and males. I'm, I'm not like making this up, like she, it looked like she generally did, and uh, or genuinely did, and uh, I was a white male. And uh, so the first day I walk into class, so this is just build up for the beginning, this is not how she thought I was cheating because we didn't take a test the first day of school, but um, I walk in the first day of school and I wave to her like, hey, like I'm a new student, hi, kind of thing, like, oh, hello, and she g gives me a look like, who do you think you are? You don't even know me, you can't come up in my class and think you know me, <laughs> and uh, that's, that's the kind of look she gave me, like, who do you think you are? And I was like, oh, okay. So I sat down. And so basically, my friend, Michael, is, uh, he sat across from me. There, it, there was desks of four facing towards each other in groups. And my friend, Michael, was talking to my other friend. And now, teachers talk with other teachers. So this friend, Michael, was really smart. And people talk about people. Basically, my uh, math teachers before have talked to this teacher, this Asian teacher. I'm not going to say her name. I'll just say her name is... Miss Johnson or something, which is not real because oh, let's just say Miss Wong. That that's like an average uh, teacher name. Whatever. Try not to be racist here, but um, uh, people talk to other people. Apparently, um, Miss Wong uh, heard about Michael and so she heard a lot of good things. Now he's not white or yeah, he's not white. He's Mexican. He's looks darker than normal. He's not, you know, like me. I'm a mobile white guy, <laughs> and so basically I was sitting there. And, uh, everyone in the class is talking, first day of school, like, oh, how's your summer, blah, 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 and, uh, she basically tries to shush the class, like, oh, okay, I'm ready to teach. So, I'm sitting down in my seat, everybody start stops talking, she goes, shh, guys, 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 and, uh, or more like, shh, guys, 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 be quiet, and, uh, she shushes the class, everybody starts to get quiet, except for my friend Michael, and, uh, he's still talking to my friend Markel, which is very confusing, Markel and Michael. And, uh, so they're talking, and I'm like, hey, um, Michael, Michael, shh, she's, uh, trying to talk. And she looks at me, and she goes, um, what's your name? I'm like, oh, Dakota. She's like, yeah, don't be a kiss-up. I'm like, oh, wow, that, that made me angry, though. I was like, I don't even, I don't even do anything, I just told him to be quiet. I wasn't like, please be quiet, class, the teacher of such great magnitude is trying to talk, and we shall listen, and we shall obey. I was just like, hey, hey, shh. And, um... Yeah, so that kind of made me angry. So that was just like the first day of school. Uh, another incident happened, basically. I was... It was like, what, three weeks into the school. And I put my backpack in the front of the classroom. I don't know why, but it was like... It was bulky and under my desk and stuff. Because I had a lot of books. Because I'm a nerd. But, uh... I set it in the front of the classroom. And so at the end of the, the period, the bell rings. I get up and I walk towards the front of the classroom and she's standing there just after teaching the lesson and there's my backpack so I walk up to her and she jumps back like I just pulled out a gun and she jumps back and she was like what are you doing I'm like getting my backpack like I'm going over there to beat her up with a pencil <laughs> so then um, I grab my backpack and I walk out like huh like wondering what's going on and stuff so this continues on it's like she has a grudge against me or something like I just ate her newborn child and now she's trying to get back at me so basically what I was trying to lead up to is it was uh it was a, a test one day. So this one I I usually I like tests usually I would get good grades, maybe Bs or As. But uh this test I felt like I studied and I didn't know anything. I looked at the test maybe 10 minutes over and I was trying to read all the questions and try to figure out if I can do at least one and I go over it and I'm like I can't do anything. So I'm like so I'm easily distracted at this point. I don't even know what I'm doing. So I, I ended up scratching my head. I don't even know why. And then I moved down to my forehead. And I don't know why. I got distracted and I started looking at like my pinky or something. I was trying. I was just looking left. 
I don't know why I was just scratching my head and I was looking left. And at this point, what does she see? She sees me scratching my head and looking left. Who's sitting to my left? Oh, yeah, it's the smartest kid in the class, Michael. She thinks that I'm cheating off of Michael and that's why I'm sitting there while I'm taking the test. And so she goes, Dakota, come up here with your test. And I'm like, uh, uh, and me being uh, nervous at this point, I'm like, wait, what's going on? I didn't even do anything. And I'm all red and it looks really suspicious and I start getting choky, like, uh, uh, <coughs> uh, um, a hey, uh, and she goes, um, what are you doing? I'm like, are you, uh, trying to do the test? And she's like, obviously, but like, what are you, are you cheating off of Michael over there? And I'm like, wait, what? No, no, I'm not, I'm not doing anything. And she's like, let me see your test. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, sure, here. And she sees nothing on my test after the 10 minutes. So she has like a disappointment in my head and then, or I, uh, on her face. And then she looks at Michael and like, what has he done? And then looks like trying to think that I'm cheating, trying to put things together. She wants to catch me cheating and she's trying to think of a way and I'm just like I, I didn't do anything I, I I don't even know what you're talking about she's like you know what go sit in the corner and um let me just make a little background here there's this is a two class thing it's like put together as two classes but she only uses half the class and usually the other half are like a club and so she makes me go sit over in Antarctica on the other side of the room it's all cold and lonely and makes me sit and do my test so I'm sitting over there and now I'm nervous and I'm freaking out in my head like is she even gonna grade this thing and now I'm freaking out trying to do this test and um I end up trying to finish the test. I'm like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, and I'm freaking out. And so I finish the test right when the bell rings. And after the bell rings, there's a 15-minute break for nutrition, which is we can get breakfast. And so I bring up my test, and I go, I'm, I'm sorry for the inconvenience. I wasn't uh, doing anything wrong. I wasn't trying to cheat. And she goes, no, 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 get out of my classroom. And I'm like, wait, what? Like, she didn't even handle it, like, maturely, <laughs> like, trying to talk to me, like, where are you really doing it? What, what's going on here? She goes, you know, get out of my classroom. I don't want to see you. I'm like, wow. So I walked out of our classroom, and I was, like, freaking out for the rest of the day. She ended up grading the test and, like, being lenient because she couldn't have any evidence that I copied anybody, seeing that there was nothing copied on my paper. And so this leads up to another event. This is after the fact she thinks that I'm cheating. And so um, she really hates me at this point. Every time I walk into class, she roll her eyes at me. So one day I tried to take a test and um, I was doing the test and uh, like I said the bell rings and it's always nutrition. So she walks up to my friend Michael over here, the know-it-all, that knows everything. And she goes, "Hey, um," and she whispers this. She doesn't think that anybody else hears. So she goes, "Um, uh, Michael, um, are you done yet? Like, do you need any help? Want me to check some things, see if you have any mistakes?" Like she asked him if he has mistakes before he's even turned in the test. And I'm like, what are you serious? And uh, but I, I didn't say that out loud, obviously. But I, like I I turned and I was like, huh? So sh the bell ends up ringing and I'm not done yet. So I'm thinking, oh yeah, she'll give me time, obviously. And uh, the bell rings and it's time for nutrition. She goes, okay, that's it, and then no more time. And I'm like, um, uh, I didn't finish mine. I I have like three more problems being these three problems reward problems that's 10 points each that's uh you know 30 points that's 30 points minus 100 you know that's uh c right off the bat if i don't even answer these questions at all and i'm like oh yeah i um i i didn't finish my test and this is the last test of the year right now i had a c plus a 79 percent because i was doing horrible on the other test and i needed this test if i got higher than a c plus i would basically get a b and so i really needed this test and i was like hey, hey um uh yeah, I, I, I didn't get to finish. And she's like, uh, yeah, no more time. That's it. And I'm like, I didn't even finish. I'll get a C automatically by not finishing this. And I had like a full-blown argument. She's like, no, get out of my class. You're not getting any more time. That's final. I'm like, what? Are you serious? You've always given time. And she goes, no, 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 no. I don't do that. So at this point, I'm furious. All year, she's been harassing me. And I, know I, I walk outside and I see the principal. The principal basically is, is new. Like, he's just came in and this is my freshman year and he basically came in the same year I did but the thing with this principal is he was my middle school principal as well so I've known him for three years prior and we're like best buddies and so I walk up to him and I'm like hmm so I go uh, and I walk all sad and he's like hey what's wrong buddy and I'm like my teacher she didn't let me uh finish my test and she goes oh why did she had good reasons I was like no she just didn't let me finish it was nutrition she's like nope no more time He's like, well, that's not nice. Well, what do you have in the class? I'm like, well, I guess C plus. And he's like, oh, no, 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 that's not going to happen. And I was like, yes, yes. She's like, he's like, oh, no, no, don't worry. I'll, I'll, I'll talk to him or talk to her. And I'm like, mm-hmm, okay. Basically, next day comes around and uh, she does her little mini lesson things, hands out a paper. 
and goes, okay, let's do it. And she goes, Dakota, can I see you outside? And I go, yeah. She goes, I know you were upset, but uh, I can't give you any more time. Just finish it right now. Moral of the story, she was very mean. Hopefully you guys have subscribed and enjoyed the story. Peace out, my dudes.